The next phase of the stroke is our catch. This is the part of the stroke when the paddle blade enters the water. You want to make sure you allow the blade to completely enter the water before beginning your next phase, which is the power phase. The biggest mistake paddlers make during the catch is that they pull too early before the blade is completely set. It's only a split second pause, but this will allow the paddle to get completely set, prevent cavitation, and help you produce the most power and speed. The catch should have as little splashing as possible as a byproduct of a clean entry. Visualize sticking the blade into wet concrete or mud as the motion you will need to get a connected and clean catch. As you catch the water, you will be exerting some level of downward pressure onto the blade. Focus on putting your weight onto the blade as you set it in the water. Not so much weight that you're pushing your paddle shaft deep into the water, but enough so that you are taking a certain amount of weight off of your board and using it to power yourself forward during the power phase. A good drill to practice your catch is creating a slight pause just before the blade enters the water. Count one second and then go into your power phase. While you don't want to be putting the blade so far in the water that it's a foot up your shaft, you do want to make sure the blade is completely submerged. So another good drill to do is to mark the top of your paddle blade with tape and make sure you're getting the blade completely in the water to that tape each stroke. It may be hard to see when you're actually paddling, but you can have a friend film you and it will be a clear indicator if you are getting that blade completely submerged. 